So does the world really need another diet? Eat pasta, don't eat pasta. Eat high fat, eat low fat. Diets don't work, but this diet does. For every claim, a counterclaim exists. What do all the diet plans have in common? These are all the diets that I have done to date, and I'm going to read them really fast. Eat right for your type, the fat flush plan, Suzanne Summer Summer Size, Body for Life, South Beach Diet, Carbohydrate Addicts Diet, Atkins Diet, Sugar Busters, Eat More, Way Less, OptiFast, Fit for Life, Grapefruit Diet, Cabbage Soup Diet, Mayo Clinic Diet, Scarsdale Diet, Diet Center, that was my first diet at the age of 11. Nutrisystem, the zone, Mediterranean diet. I've tried all the over-the-counter supplements and still do. I've had acupuncture in the ear. I've read hundreds of books and, most recently, HCG injections. So what do all diet plans have in common? Each and every time, each and every one of us goes on one of these plans, we are all asking the same thing. Just tell me what to do. Just tell me what to do and I'll do it. I will do it with the focus of a laser. I won't even go out to eat till I hit my goal. And if I do go out to eat, I'm bringing my food in a Tupperware. Weight loss is a marathon, not a sprint. It's not just about getting to the goal. It's about keeping the weight off forever. If you want to lose more than 10 pounds, pick a program, any program. They all work. I will get you to your goal faster. The habitual overeater, we've read the books. We've ordered the exercise equipment at 2 o'clock in the morning. All of our stories are unique yet oddly universal. We've been there and done that. Yet we are all still searching for the holy grail to grant us peace with the scale. Weight loss is hard. Nobody knows more than me how hard weight loss is. But I stand here in front of you today. True, it has taken me 30 years, but I'm here. It's hard, but it's not impossible. If I can do it, anyone can do it. You just need to know the secrets, and today you're going to have the secrets. The secrets of weight loss. The secrets of weight loss is understanding the science of the naturally thin person. The science of the naturally thin person is about biology. We need to do two phases. First thing, I got to get you to your goal, right? Got to get you to your goal. In order to do that, we're going to turn you into fat-burning machines. What is the number one self-diagnosis of every person who comes into your office who is having trouble losing weight? They have a slow thyroid. They have no metabolism. Doc, I got no metabolism. What they're saying to you is not that they really have no metabolism. Yes, they might have a slow thyroid. We'll check. If they need thyroid medication, we'll suggest thyroid medication. But I promise you, all of us have the ability to overeat and out-eat our thyroid medication. <laughs> what they're saying to you, and I get it, is that they are having trouble burning fat. No longer an issue. We're going to turn you into fat-burning machines. That is the first phase. Second phase. Yo-yo dieting ends today. We're going to keep the weight off for the rest of our lives. We do this in two parts. We've got to balance the brain, and we have to deal with a fat-inducing hormone called cortisol. Here we go. Fat-burning machines. Before we talk about that, we need to understand the premise of energy. Our bodies are energy machines. We are metabolically active 24 hours a day. You might not feel like an energy machine, but you are. Breathing requires energy. Our hearts beating requires energy. Our lungs breathing requires energy. Even while we're sleeping, 
Our body uses energy. Body source or fuel for energy is sugar. Glucose. I know. You're all going to tell me. I have not eaten candies, cookies, or cake in over 10 years. I believe you. Because what's the first thing that we eliminate any time we go on any program? Sugar. Sugar doesn't seem to be the problem today. The problem are with the hidden C's. The hidden C called carbohydrates. Bread, rice, pasta, potatoes. Every time we eat carbs, the body converts it to sugar. Even the healthy carbs, multigrain breads, wheat pastas. I've had people call me from Whole Foods. I've had people bring me in the food packages. I get it. You're eating healthy. But remember, complex carbs get converted to simple carbs. And if we don't burn them off, they get converted to sugar. If we don't burn off the sugar, it burns to and converts to fat. Here's where we take control. Every system in the body has a fail-safe mechanism. If we do not have enough sugar in the blood, do you think the body just shuts down? You think the body just says, I'm going to have the heart stop beating? I'm not going to have the lungs breathe? How many of us wake up, we don't eat breakfast? We're so busy, we don't eat lunch. Body doesn't shut down. The body redirects the source of fuel to fat. So you can turn your body into a fat burning machine by lowering sugar in the body. Our bodies are made to do this. The metabolism of fat. This is the pathway. Every time we eat a carb, even the good carbs, bread, rice, pasta, potatoes, carbs get converted to sugar. Anytime there is sugar in the blood, the pancreas gets notified. The pancreas then releases the director of sugar. The director of sugar is insulin. Insulin travels up to the sugar, latches onto the sugar, and together as a couple travels throughout the blood. They decide, are we using it for energy or are we storing it? Most of us are not using it for energy. We have overeaten our expenditure. So the body says, okay, need to store it. No problem. Where does it look? It looks first to the liver. Knocks on the door of the liver. Liver, you got any room in there? Liver says, you know what? No more room. You've been eating so many carbs that have converted to so much sugar, you have taken up all the room in the liver. We're full. Okay. Body says, let's go to the next source goes to muscle, knocks on the door of the muscle. Any room in there? Muscle says, sorry, you've taken up all the space. No more room in the muscle. What happens? Sh oh, excuse me. Sugar goes up in the blood. What disease is associated with high sugar in the blood? Diabetes, correct. So your body loves you. And your body says, I do not want to become a diabetic. So it purposely takes that sugar and converts it to fat. Not theoretical fat, not hypothetical fat, fat you can grab on your body. Shows up as triglycerides on the blood test. 